Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating some game assets for a game that I'm prototyping, semi kind of making. So, what we're doing at the moment is where is my game? The Pelican. So, if we crack this open eventually, um, I've already started creating a few module pieces over here. So, we have a whoops. Okay, we're in now. So I've just started creating some of these simple wall assets um, and I've got a bit of a puzzle that goes in here, probably sitting on this tile somewhere. And what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a um, kind of like a console that will go here that has three buttons on it. And then these three buttons here control these lights. Uh, so if I press play, let's just quickly jump over this wall. Then we come over to here. You can see we're in our little Thing, and we've got three lights up top and then the point of this is to kind of get this to green whoops over here and so I kind of would just want to make this console here that has these three buttons that it that will then open up the door and I can just simply go through okay let's do it <laughs> so back over into blender let's jump over so I know that it's going to be sitting, that is my size restriction, um, because that gives me room to run either side. Um, I am thinking of something like a Howdy Slice Factor. Uh, I am thinking of almost like um, something like this. So if I just go extrude, this would be my rough piece. Control B, G, Y something like that um, with pylon in the middle do I want a pylon or do I go kind of like that Star Wars hand solo console that he shoots I do like that though but I do like the panel but it, it <laughs> whatever let's just start okay let's delete all this shift a add in a cube uh, from here, I'm going to scale that in. Let's go 0.25. Um, let's grab this bottom face and we will move it GZ till it's on zero. And then let's delete that face because we don't need it. Let's come up here. How tall do we want it? We want it probably, probably about 0.8 high, um, which is about half the room. Actually, we've got a bit to go. Let's make it one meter high. From here, let's go up 0.1. And then we will kind of like expand that out. So let's select this. E to extrude, style, size, shift Z. And we'll bring that out. Now, the reason why I press shift Z, because I don't want to scale on the Z axis. I just want to scale on the X and Y. So from here, Let's come in and we'll select these, scale on the X. My pivot points down the bottom, we don't want that. How's that gonna look? Okay, so we've got that, that's not too bad. I'm going to grab this, E to extrude, like so. If I scale that in, this will give us Let's grab all this. Actually, what we'll do is let's go V, V to rip. So now that's a separate object. Select all, scale X, scale the Y. Not liking it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, let's try again. G, Z, face, E to extrude. Let's bring these in, scale Y. It's because we've got individual origins selected. So let's change the medium point, scale Y, X, and bring that in. I'm just gonna turn off our normals because the normals are pretty important. Thanks, buddy. Sorry I didn't do this earlier. Um, I'm going to turn off the normals because I don't wanna see the normals right now. That'll be a future problem. Okay, so let's scale that out. That's already looking quite a bit better. Now the question is from here, let's grab this. 
going to scale that in. Nope. I'm going to scale this in, GY, and bring that in like so. That looks like crud. I know what I want to see. Okay, what about... Nope, that's ugly. Y, X. That's a little bit better. I'm going to press GG to go along the edge. Beautiful. Let's bring these in. I think that's just a little bit too wide. Nice. Nice. Let's scale that out a little bit. G, Z. And we want to make this bit down here look a little bit prettier. So let's come back and work on the base. Um, how should we do this? We could probably... Let's just select everything else and hide that. So maybe what we can do is kind of make this cool comes down like this, maybe on all sides. So I'm going to come here, select on the base. I'm going to shush, go away, bring this down. And what does that look like? Mm, that's not too bad. I think what I might do is when we come in and start um, putting in more details, I'll definitely kind of like put some cut lines through here. Okay, so next bit in here, let's create these. I'm gonna press I to do an inset and do another inset. And what I wanna do now is extrude inwards on the individual faces. So if we come up here to the pivot point and individual origins, beautiful. If I press E to extrude, they all go their separate ways. Beautiful, let's just bring that in there. That's not too bad. Um, from here, what can we do? <laughs> what can we do in here? Um, thanks, mum. <laughs> um, I'm gonna press I, let's do another inset and let's extrude that out just a bit, just to give it some extra details in there. Do I like that? Kinda. I will from here put some sort of box as our button. So shift A, let's add in a, another cube. And for now, let's bring that up in here. here. No, I don't want a cube. I would like a cylinder because most buttons around scale. Okay, from here, let's select this inset. And now let's extrude. And that kind of gives us the cylinder where the button will be going in and out of. From here, let's shift D scale, GZ, E to extrude, control B to do a bevel. And because I've used the mouse wheel already quite a few times, it's kind of given us this beveled edge. And so now we have a cylinder. I'm not too concerned about poly count at the moment because um, a, the game is not that big, um, so not a lot needs to be done. Um, however, I still won't be silly about it. There we go. So if we grab this, G, scale that, oops. So the reason why they've scaled individually is because I've left it on individual origins on the pivot point. Let's go back to medium point. <laughs> um, and let's put that in there like so. We'll just kind of line it up with that edge and let's scale that. And then we've got our one button. whoop de doo What we'll do is when it comes time to export, we'll individually have this piece here by itself. And that way we can animate in Unreal it moving up and down. Um, from here, what can we do? What should we do? I feel like this is a wonderfully empty space in here. Huh. Should we probably just create a screen and then we'll throw a texture on that a little bit later. And so let's like this rotate. And the reason why I didn't just grab that face is because it's not a square face, and I do want a square face. 
just a little bit of extra work. From here, let's grab this back face, G, let's move it in a bit. Delete face and inset with I. Let's do another inset. There we go. I'm going to do control R to put an edge loop in there and alt S. And we'll bring that in. So now we've got kind of this screen where we can put jargon and stuff. Um, it's not too bad. Slowly mixing stuff around. I do want all these edges to be a little bit cleaner. So if we come over into the modifiers, bevel modifier, it's not too bad. A little bit too thick for my liking. Whoa. 0.001, just a smidgen. Let's go 03. There we go. That's not too bad. I believe this is, well, it's pretty high poly, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now. This is all looking quite nice. The underneath side, the underneath we won't see. The underneath, the bottom part we won't see. Let's actually, let's come back here and I want to turn it off from limited method from none to angle. So only anything above 30 degrees will have a bottom, um, modifier applied to it, which is pretty much everything. Let's come down into here and we're going to do the same thing with the bevel modifier. And that's fine. And as you can see here, uh, if we go into wireframe mode, all these edges have a bevel and we don't really need a bevel along those edges. So we'll go from none to angle and that's given us a little bit more uh, less geometry. So if I type in smooth, it looks like rubbish. But if we come over here into our normals, uh, sorry, vertex data, object data, normals, auto smooth. Nah, that's a bit ugly. Come back into the modifiers. Let's add in segments to two. And that's still ugly. Oh, I hate you. So let's bump up that to about 45. Nice. All right. And with the button, we will move that later. We just need some more details in here. Um, let's just start adding in probably a random, um, kind of like not dials or switches, but um, just some lights. Shift D, I'm gonna select those faces, P to separate by selection. And what I'm gonna do now is select all this uh, I'm going to cut that down the middle and let's go delete those vertices, control L, delete vertices. And from here, let's go into the mirror modifier. I'm going to get rid of the bevel modifier because we don't need it on this face here. Do I have the right one? There it is. All right. So I'm going to select these faces. Let's do an inset. Control I to inverse our selection, delete edges. And from here, I'm going to kind of just line this up. So these are straight. So scale X zero, G X. And let's just move that one in from here. What are we going to do to line this up? Um, I'm just going to go GG and let's just kind of actually no it would be about here ish gg about there which is parallel kind of not really um what do we got over here we've lost this one nope still there so from here i'm going to select everything w subdivide w subdivide sub subdivide yeah, let's get one more and I'm going to go into edge uh, face mode. Let's deselect everything. And let's search and go random. Select random. 50%, no, I want 10% maybe. Is that what I want? And so we're just gonna put a few buttons around. I think, you know what, 
Let's go with that. Let's have this weird looking panel. Shift D. P, separate by selection. Let's come back into this one. Um, do I just have that face there selected? Let's go select random 10% and whoops. Deselect everything, select random 10%, change the seed a little bit. P, separate by selection. Cool. Will it work? Mm. Taking a gander here. And then we've got now two different faces. Let's come back up into our individual origins, E to extrude. And we'll extrude these. I didn't extrude too well. It's not really working this because of the, it's just a weird angle. Now I'm gonna come in and select the other ones and let's go E to extrude. But now it's kind of, see, it's not gonna work because this is now, it's almost like a sci-fi console. I've done it wrong, I reckon. It's ugly. So you know what we can do? Select everything, delete. Let's start again. <laughs> Shift A, cube, G, Z, zero. Um, the console's gonna be my biggest problem. I'm not gonna go down that route. Let's just go a straight console for now. Scale on the Y, point two five. Scale on the X, point two five. Nope, scale X, point seven five. And we'll bring that down, I'm gonna put an edge loop in here, E to extrude, and control B, which we'll put a little bevel in, just a flat bevel there, and this is kind of like our desk, and then from here we can shift D, let's bring that up, P, separate by selection, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into squares as much as possible. Nope, oh, that does not look like squares. That doesn't look like squares. That's probably the closest to a square. Select everything, W, subdivide. Uh, Actually, no, that'll work. So let's do another inset. Control I, delete edges. Now if I go subdivide, now we've got all our buttons. So if I do control B in here, just to expand that out, delete faces. Hey buddy, let's come down into E to extrude. So now we've got all our buttons, but obviously we don't have our button for, does it need to be a circle button? Can it just be a keypad? Because I'm not gonna put any animation on this. I mean, on the character doing anything. Mm. So maybe what I can do is depending on, oh, how should I do this? I do like the button. Maybe I do a, a bigger button in the middle on each corner. Let's do that. GZ, so that's what it's gonna look like. And how about we grab these three layers, Control L, Shift D to duplicate Y, let's rotate X 90 degrees. And the reason why that rotated a bit weird is because I've got individual origins, let's go to medium point, rotate X 90, and we'll bring that up in here. What on earth is that? Let's line this up. Scale X, whoops, Y zero, scale Z zero. What? What is this shenanigans? 
scale y zero. That to me is mm. okay. And let's just rotate that back into position. Okay. And then from here, let's just quickly do this while we're here. I'm going to deselect everything. Let's create two materials. One, and we'll call this light blue. And we can go into rather than principle, let's go to emission strength three, and we'll make this a blue. Um, let's add in a new material. So I can go light blue. Let's duplicate that material and make that green. Change the emission to green. Let's add one more in green. Copy the red. And we're making it red. Surprise, surprise. From here, we deselect everything. Type in select random. And so this is the kicker. I want 30% of everything, but I'm not selecting 30% of everything because eight of those vertices are on each button. So I'm not doing individual objects. Okay, so maths. I don't know, 5% of stuff. Control L, good enough, assign hide and now let's go select a random i really hope i assign that one and let's just bring it up to 15 percent control l that is way too much so let's deselect everything select random let's just go 10 percent control l whatever's assign alt h and if we go into EV mode, oh my goodness, that is horrendous. Let's go with it. Um, what can we do? Are we in cycles or in EV? If I go into cycles, oh, that is the ugliest colors. Oh my goodness, let's turn that down. Oh gosh, that is ugly. I think those, the buttons are a bit too big. So I'm going to select everything. And obviously if I scale, it's going to scale everything. Let's come into here, individual origins, and we'll scale these individually. And there we go. Oh my goodness, that is horrendous. <laughs> oh, let's, let's just add in a normal material. Uh, light underscore none. And we will go base color white. That's fine. Let's select everything. Select a random 10%. Oops, let's deselect everything. Select random 10%. Control L. Assign. Oh. Yes, that looks a little bit better. Still ugly, but whatevs. So from here, um, I was thinking we get rid of maybe these squares here, uh, box select, box select, box select, control L to select all linked items, delete vertices. <laughs> Sorry, Omega Sky. It is at the moment 10 p.m. where I am. So the children are in bed. And that means I can come out and do stuff. Let's select this box. Just gonna scale rough guide. Now, are there any tutorials you guys wanna actually see? Um, I am looking at getting my Blender Foundation certificate, trainer certificate, um, where I'll be using it at work, even though it's meaningless at work because I am in the innovation team um, and nobody else in the department that I know of really uses it other than the digital media guys. But if you guys want me to work something out, please let me know. 
and Marco would do his best. So what I've done here is I've done a bevel and then I've given it an extra edge. I'm going to do control numpad minus, dang it. Let's go into edge mode, control numpad minus, Okay, alt right click these areas. That didn't really work. Oops. And let's do alt S to scale. And so now we've kind of got these like panels. Ooh, do I want to keep the panel? Let's go bring that up. G, Z, and are we in individual origins? We sure are. I'm just going to scale that in a little bit. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. But it looks ugly. It looks ugly. Udoms? You mean Edoms? I think I've avoided them, but I know what they are. Um, okay, so this is our panel. Let's, what I'm just going to do is quickly control J. Let's join this. Um, what's the height of this thing at the moment? So there's one meter. So let's go G Z. I'm going to throw it up there. Select this file, export FBX, selected objects put it in here, uh, SM underscore door panel. Le X did I have selected object selected? I sure did. Good. Let's come over into our unreal engine and door panel. Bring that in. Yes, that is fine. My normals are going to be butchered. I bet you. Oh no. Let's rotate that around and let's go play. I probably should just delete some walls. That'll fix that problem. And if we come in here, what is, so it doesn't look too bad. However, I think it's going to be too close to each other. Um, and I need to do markings for this puzzle. I think I might extend it, just scale it. Um, let's select everything scale x axis 1.25. Whoops, let's go into medium point scale x 1.25, and that's just made it just that smidgen bigger. So, from here, I need to make it somehow clear that this button is one and three. This button, sorry, this button's one and two. This button here is one and three, and this button is three and two. And by that, what I mean is, uh, if I go play again, come back into here, jump over the wall, go through the spotlight while we're at it. If I come over into here, the left button will control one and two. So you can see the blue and red one. If I come over here and on the third one, it'll control the right and the middle. So if I press E, that's what it's changed. And so that one, the middle one, uh, either side. Okay. I think that's still too close to each other, but I do, I do think that looks nice. I think I've got to separate it more. So you actually got to move over to the side. So I think we need to go back to the original plan of maybe cutting this, spinning it. Okay, let's go shift D and I'm just going to move that off into the corner from here. Let's go edge loop, control B to do a bevel and we will slice it about here. From this edge, shift S cursor to selected. I'm going to see if I rotate this, oops, let's just go into wireframe, make sure I've selected everything. If I come up here and go 3D curse, I want to rotate. I think this will stuff up this point. 
here. So that means let's select this edge loop, control B 0.01. Oops, control B 0.01 and let's get just one edge. Control B 0.01 to put in those bevels. And everything from here, oops, I hit that. Do I have experience with Substance? I've played with it, but my version is very old. Um, 2017 or earlier. It's like Substance Painter 2. Um, and I haven't really played with it. So let's rotate this 45 degrees. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Let's select these two. Shift S cursor to select it and rotate 45 minus yeah that looks a little bit better oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. file export fbx door panel which is what we want now if i come into unreal rather than re-importing it well, actually i am re-importing re it i can just right click on the the model click re-import and it'll change it automatically and so what that means is if I come down into here and rotate 30, rotate 30, play. Oh gosh, let's just delete. There we go. We can run over to here. And then that means that we can control this, control this, control this. I like it. That works a lot better. Beautiful. Um, is that the right height? Let's, what I'll do is get my character out and let's just bring him over to here, play. Is that the right height? That seems like the right height. Good, so let's now make a stand for it. Um, and we should probably do something at the back here. So at the back, what I'm gonna do is let's Alt right click on there. It is a bit, it's two and a half meters. But this, it's kind of the whole premise of this is as if you're breaking into a bank or something else. I'm not saying ish. Gosh dang it. Delete edge loop. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to create a panel. So let's go inset, press I again because I want to actually do the whole thing. And let's just do an E to extrude, which is definitely not the way I wanted to do it. So let's come back up here into individual origins and then it, it'll extrude along its own axes. From here, let's start with our bevel modifier because oh, let's leave it at that angle. Let's turn that, let's keep that on. I'm going to add in smooth mesh, looks like crud. But if I come back into the object data, auto smooth, there we go. It's a little bit nicer. What you know, this? It's actually not too bad. Um, maybe if I come in here and select these two, I'm just gonna do another bevel just to give it a little bit more of a rounded edge. Nice. Now the stand, what are we gonna do for the stand? Let's go. Cube. Nope. Shift S cursor to origin. Let's go cube. Scale. GZ. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Which would love to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. Okay, so from here, I did like what we did before. Control R. Let's do a bevel to here. Let's select these points here and we'll do another bevel. And then that means we can come down the bottom, select top and bottom, scale, like so. Ooh. Scale X, like so. From here, I can select this one and this one. Control B. Oh my goodness, what? Is that correct? Yeah, 
let's go into it. Yes, what's going on here? Let's select everything. How do I add the buttons for the console? Yes, it was. Um, so all it was, was a plane. Let's just move that up. W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide. Control B to do a bevel. Delete faces. Select all these. Control L, E to extrude. Bob Zirani. Okay, so if we come back into here, Whoa. Whoops. Delete vertices. That's an ugly looking console stand. I think. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab all this. So C to do like kind of circle select. Shift D. I'm just going to get P separate by selection because I just want to work on this. Let's do I to do an inset. All right, control I to do an invert selection, delete faces. And what I wanna do is I wanna delete these lines cause I don't need them. So alt right click, alt right click, oh shift alt right click now, delete edge loops only. And now that's given me this. All right, let's bring that back up. E to extrude, let's get rid of that bevel modifier. E to extrude, Alt S, what's gonna happen? Hmm, scale, shh, yuck, that's not gonna work, is it? Um, oh, that's how I can do it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this kind of skinnier. What I will do is I'm gonna do I to do an inset, GZ, ah, genius. And let's do another one inset and let's bring oops bring that one down mm, yeah that's hunky dory i'll buy that for a dollar you know, massive <laughs> massive back in the day tech wasn't wireless <laughs> um from here oh now i can't go backwards though i can't expand if you know what i mean however what i will do so what i want to do is kind of flare it out so it comes back out but i can't do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do shift s cursor to selected shift a to select everything shift d right click to put it back in place Pivot point change to 3D cursor. Scale Z minus one, enter. Oh yeah. Select everything, space for search or F3. Merge by distance. Those 12 vertices have now merged. I've got all these faces in the middle which would have caused me problems later on. Oh, you're a jerk. So let's just select these manually. Delete the faces. From here, let's just make sure I've merged by distance. Beautiful. Let's go control B. <laughs> let's select everything. Shift N to flip the normals. And now if I do control B, there we go. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Let's come in and select these edges. Control B, just to give it a little bit of extra life. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of is those um, seats or those stools you used to have at arcade machines that were on the table. How does that look? Let's select everything. Control J to join. File, export, FBX, door panel, export, over to Unreal, this thing, Reimport. Seems okay. I think though that needs to be pushed back a bit. And these things up here need to be a little bit more uh, predominant. Uh, the plan as well is, is probably to have something like this glowing. 
And here's a common problem. You can see that these buttons look really weird. And the simple problem to that is that the normals are the wrong way around. Um, it's pretty common that normally, especially when I'm working, I always forget to flip those normals and make sure they're the right way. So very simple fix, you come back in, let's select everything and I'll show you a way of looking which way the normals are facing. So if you come up here into this vision overlays, we can click normals and the faces and you can see that the faces are facing the right way. No, they're not. They're actually protruding from the other side. So when I go shift N to flip the normals, you'll see that these lines will get longer and now they're facing the right way. All right, file, uh, export, FBX, we know the drill, re-import, and there are our buttons. Nice, nice. From here, should we texture it? Probably could, let's texture it, why not? I wasn't going to, but we might as well. How are we gonna texture it? So, we've got three materials in this thing none and we will call this uh, new we will call this metal <laughs> why not from here control l control l how do you handle shadow maps i mean light maps um from here we could probably get rid of some do we want to Let's make some cuts first. Well, actually, let's get rid of some geometry. So light maps, I let Unreal do it. I'm, I don't care. I'm going to delete these faces. Um, let's do Control L, Control I, hide, and let's get rid of these faces. Yeah, I let Unreal do the light maps. Um, because I'm just going to focus on the actual models themselves. And you're going to see that I just overlay the heck out of this stuff. So let's now cheat. And let's put in some panel lines. So I'm going to put one here. Where's the opposite? There. And let's come in. Control B. And I just want one. There we go. From here, Control Numpad Minus. Alt S and then let's press V to rip. Beautiful. Now let's break it here as well. Select here, control B, control numpad minus, alt S, block V. And so now when I select these and go U, UV unwrap, let's see what that looks like. Without even doing anything. Well, that seems fine. Let's now scale these up a bit. There we go. G, and we'll just scale it up a bit. This one as well. Oops, Alt H, rotate 90. So that kind of like everything is flowing in the same direction. Now, let's have a look at what do I have? Uh, I mean, actually, what do I have? If I come into KitOps, beautiful. I do have KitOps installed. Let's come into Metal, Shading, <laughs> Alt H. Let's select these two, Control L and come around. Um, I am just going to attach a very simple material, metal, um, a sign. Let's go N, kit ops, because I'm fairly lazy, metal. No, I do have a hard ops. I just don't have it installed because um, I've just put, just put on 2.81 and I am after other. Which one is it? Is it grungy? Grimy. There we go. All right. Control shift. Control import. Beautiful. All right. Let's come into here. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. 
like that for a dollar. Um, dun, 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 dun. To me, that looks for. Oh, you no 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 no. Control Z. Nope 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 nope. <laughs> Let's not do that. Add insert. There we go. So what had happened is it cleared all my other materials, which is not what I want. So what's this grime three? It's a little bit of a pink hue, which is definitely not what I want. And now we can come back into here. Let's just give it this gray console look. Oh, those buttons are horrendous. <laughs> um, did I, if I do control L, that whole button. So what I will do is I'm going to select this, this, and this control numpad plus and that'll expand the selection so now I have that button and I want a white light new light underscore white change principle to emission and we'll change that to the three assign there we go um Let's select the outer edges here and control numpad plus to expand the selection. And now we're fi uh, touching all that. What I want to touch on from here is I'm going to press new material. I'm going to go grime. Let's make another copy of it. And this one is going to be lighter. Let's click assign. Yeah. Uh, it's all a bit too jarring for me. So let's go shade smooth, which it did nothing. Uh, ah, let's leave it. So from here, What's, what are we going to do? We are going to... So this has been UV unwrapped. So let's select everything that we've UV unwrapped. Hide. Let's do what we did before. And panels. Control B. And from here, Control numpad minus Alt S. Alt S. Get in there. V to rip. Beautiful. Yep, that's not too bad. Oh, it does too, doesn't it? <laughs> you are very right. U to unwrap. Smart UV project. Good enough for me. Let's select everything and we'll scale that up a smidgen. Let's come back into shading. Yep. From here, what are we gonna do? Oh, see now this is the problem. What are we gonna do? So really what I should be doing is this is one game asset and I probably should be only creating one material for the whole object. However, because I'm doing a repeating texture, I can't necessarily put the buttons on the same because it'll look a little bit ugly. But because I know that this level is not gonna be that big and it's not gonna be that much information, I'm gonna cheat. So let's go Alt H. I'm going to select all these. Control L, did I select everything? I did not. Control L, still, Control L, P, separate by selection. Do I want to bake? I don't need to bake though. What I can do, what I can do is a little trick is, let's move this up and I'm really sorry. I think this is chips add-on. I can go, um, what am I doing? Let's go new material, 
grime three and let's go image. Okay. Let's go um, new. Let's just make it a 2K. Should be fine. Star two. Star two. And then I'll just call this um, door panel. Beautiful. From here, oh, blah, blah. bake, diffuse, bake. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's fine. It normally takes everyone. I normally takes forever, and I always speed this bit up in the videos. So anyway, thanks for coming along, guys. I don't know how long I've been streaming for. That's only been like 40 minutes. Oh, it's been an hour. 51 minutes. Oh boy, and it's just one asset. So anyway. Um, what am I rendering on? Ooh. I am rendering on a Ryzen 3900X. Um, it's actually faster than my GDX 980. Um, I bought, I bit the bullet and upgraded the computer dramatically. It really needed to be done, especially cause my old computer started the, the fan started wearing out. So it started actually making a lot of noise. Did it back? Yep. So it started making a lot of noise as I was recording. And obviously because I record tutorials, it doesn't really work. Okay. Panel underscore D. Let's get the glossy. Um, so that was the main reason why getting a new computer and this thing is silent and it's small as well, which is really good. Um, hopefully coming up to the Australian summer, it won't get fried, but I mean, you know, it's water cooled and all that. So should be good. Yes, so it went from rendering on the GPU, it went from a minute a frame, and then rendering on the CPU alone went down to, I think, 17 seconds. And then with the GPU and CPU, it goes down to about 11 seconds. So, um, but I haven't really, I haven't really been doing any images per se. I don't see... I know it sounds stupid, but I don't really see a point in making images because there's no benefit to me. Um, specularity, I think. Uh, let's go normals quickly. I think this might fail. Um, if I'm doing an animation, I'll try and do it in Eevee and, you know, Eevee's just quick. Um, but Cycles has those extra effects. Um, but yeah, that's the thing creating assets is more what I do with Blender. Um, I am trying to move more into the video game field purely before, because I see that that's going to become more popular in the future. We're making short films by myself that takes, you know, three, four months sucks. I can't, I can't make enough content. Don't get me wrong. I've got, motion capture now working. I've got motion capture with the iPhone X. I've got motion capture with my Oculus Rift. Um, you know, I'm starting to build all that kind of stuff up, but yeah, it's just, it's just going to take time. All right. From here. So I've got the diffuse, the glossy and the normal. That's good enough from here. Let's do the buttons. However, I'm going to go into paint and <laughs> create a really small image. Uh, pixels. Eight, 16, 32, 64. No, 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 no. Pixels. 64 by 64. And we are going to make a texture in here. So white texture. We want a green texture. Um, oh my goodness, paint. 
solid color. Oh my goodness! Fine, go green. Whoops, outline, solid color, solid color. There we go. Green, blue, blue, blue. <laughs> oh bloody point. What is going on? Am I drunk? It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Red and oh my god. White. Okay, file. Uh, where's that export button? Save as. What the? Alright, I gotta fix that up. Okay, so if we come back into. I don't even know where my folder is. There it is. Light map. Bring that off to the side, and now we can come into here and let's get rid of our grime. Let's get rid of our grime. Let's get rid of this one. You jerkosaurus. I need five colors. None. Which will be black. Oh my goodness, it's killing me. I'm just trying to think what's the easiest way to do it. UV unwrap. Whoops, I've hidden my chat. Okay, so from here, let's go deselect all this, select the light blue. It's slightly frustrating. Um, U, smart UV, project, Oakley Doakley scale. And we'll bring that up into that section. Let's hide them. Uh, select U, Smart UV Project. And so I'm just trying to quickly make a texture. And this thing will be tiny. Hide, select. Ooh, that should be in there. Fine. H, no light. Select. Yeah, that's fine. Select this scale. Let's just plop that in there somewhere. About here. White. Um, hide, select. UV, smart UV, project. Scale. And put that over to the here. What are you doing, sunshine? Whatevs. Um, coming to here, Alt H. All right, so we don't have everything to scale, which is very unfortunate. Where there's an option here where I can select, so it only shows things I'm working on. Shared locations. Oh, where are you, you jerk? There it is. All right, select. Let's deselect everything. Select, scale. Let's dump that in there. Select, scale. What on earth is that? I don't know. Oh, that's probably the grime. Select. <laughs> Control. <laughs> um, U. Smart UV project. Scale. Scale. Oh, oh you just... V to rip. I can't do it. All right, I'm going to leave that. That's going to be a future Marco problem. So anyway, we have this console. And so now uh, we've shown you this already. Let's do some unreal stuff which I am, this is not my strongest suit. Okay. 
but we can try it. And so we will grab this box, which has our blueprint. So if I open it up, puzzle one success, let's do some blueprint stuff. So from here, event tick, winning numbers. So that's all those ones that are coming up when I'm playing. Um, this was me testing it out. So message from these. And if we open up one of these, what will happen is event will hit to say that the door has been switched from one of the switches. Um, is position one, which is red, I believe, on my notes. Yes, red equals one. Is it true? Show me the doorway red material and it'll set the material and then set the position to number two. So when the next time it runs, is it number one? No. Well, is it number two? Yes. Now it's green. And what will happen is it'll flow. It'll set to number three and door puzzle success. It'll send off to the door, open the door. Where does that go? Oh, that goes into... Hang on, what? Comes into here somehow. It goes through the game instance. Um, winning number, it'll add one to the winning numbers. Is the winning numbers three? True? Awesome. False? Don't do anything. So this bit here is the cube. So what I want to do is I want to attach it now to this which I need to create a blueprint. So if I go blueprints, convert, complete, are <laughs> out. Blueprint class, Pelican, blueprints, let's go BP underscore door L. Create. Select this one. Blueprints, convert to blueprint, did I do that right? We'll find, we'll find out. Go to Pelican, Blueprints, BP underscore door R, create Blueprint, beautiful. And so now we've got these two Blueprints. We need this, which is pointing to the open door. Let's check where it goes, game interfaces. Door puzzle one success, which is what we want. Where does it go? How have I done this? Default, so it's connected directly into these. What I need to do... <laughs> It works though. I know it works because if I move this in here and press play, come in. Uh, how do I do this real quick? That one. Oh, you jerk. There we go. That one. That one. That one. And let's do it one more time. It works. So I know that this is the right blueprint. I know it works. How does it work? Class settings, BI. So let's add in, start off by adding the interfaces. Oops. No. Okay, BI, that one. BI, this is going to be a terrible part when now I'm working in. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to hate this. Okay. It's fine. Something has happened. It's over there. Zero, zero, zero. And that should be zero, zero, zero. Beautiful. got this. Let's come over into event graph. Let's compile these two. 
you're a jerk you as well zero 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 are they facing the right way i'm gonna say yes all right okay so if i come into this goes into door puzzle door puzzle success This is door puzzle success. Ah, oh, I know what's going on. All right, let's select these. Control V, beautiful. Come to this one. All right, so let's just quickly tip. Uh, promote the variable. Winning numbers. Yeah, buddy, compile. Let's get rid of that. All right. Can I? Oh. Let's come into here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's just now quickly test this. Because this is a whole bunch of me failing. Two, one, two, one, two. That's because this mesh is correct. More <laughs> true blueprints. <laughs> okay. Is that correct? Static mesh component. I want... Ah, that's because I don't have it pointing. It is not pointing. If we come into... There we go. So this is set to zero, where it needs to be set to one. This needs to be set to one. And then if we come into here, this one was already set to one. Beautiful. I've got it. It's okay. It's okay. We're good to go. All right. And this side. Come on. <laughs> um, print string that's the material what are we looking at door right play and what we will do here as well let's just while we're here event tick because I want to see actually what's going on uh, print string what are you doing to me okay that one okay so it's not hitting the doors that's because these not going to the right spot so what I need to do is open up this blueprint change this to an array change variable type that's fine shut up shut up because now that I've got more than two and if I come here let's select our elements so blueprints I am is def sorry is definitely not my strong suit and one more. There we go. And there we go. I'm pretty sure now, definitely, if I were to use those enums that we were talking about. Suck on that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, how does this work? Timeline. Um, update set location oh I hate this okay so we come into our viewport and I want it to move 100 100 100 go away now I don't need you I don't need you 
I need this to move 100. So if we come into animation, F curve, um, I want probably two, I think two seconds would be enough. I mean, too much, but we can always change that. That's fine. So let's add in a curve at zero, zero, sorry, a keyframe, add a keyframe, time to value 100. Nope, oh, what are you doing? Let's go back to the event graph. Um, split structure pin. So now I can control each individual one. Viewport, which one was this? On the X axis. And we bring that to here. Will it work? And let's throw in a do once. So pretty much once you've unlocked it, it's going to stay unlocked, even if you start changing those colors. That's a future problem. Marco does not want to worry about that right now. Will it work? Is the next question. All right. What the, where are my doors? Can I see my doors? Is that a door? Is that one of my doors? Oh, floppers. Um, so what I'll do is for now, let's set this to winning numbers. We'll just change this to three. No, on event, oops, sorry, uh, begin, event begin play, what we'll do is let's just do this, but we'll throw in a delay, because I just want to test it, of let's give it two seconds. Uh, winning numbers, we'll put this back down to one before I forget, because there is a good chance I'll forget. And that'll just stuff me up later. One, 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 one. Do once. No idea where that went. I don't think it's a do set actor relative location. Is that right? Set location. Set actor location, local offset. Let's try that one. Split pin, X, play. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Add actor. Nope. Set location. Set actors relative location. Maybe that's what it is. Let's try that one. We'll get there. Uh, what do we say? X axis. And let's have a look. What does the door do now? Slowly opens. And I think maybe a hundred was too much. Yes, hundred was too much. So we need to change that to 90. Um, a? Beautiful. So A will kind of compress that view. Compile, um, come over here. This will be 90 as well. Okay, door, it's not set relative location. It is, it is set relative location. Let's go copy. Delete, control V, X. All right, let's test it out. Door right needs to be minus 90. Play, and now hopefully these doors open, and then I can just walk through. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's working. And let's now get rid of this. 
get rid of this and then we will just test this puzzle and then we'll finish off there for tonight. In here, you are a jerk. There we go. Two, two. Oh, lovely. It works. Anyway, thanks guys for coming. <laughs> a little bit of a craziness. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keep you updated with my content. Um, this game that I'll be creating will eventually be available on Gumroad. Um, you can delete the whole... Delete. You can download the whole package. Um, there are a few puzzles. So I'll just quickly show you. There's a spotlight that I've created. So if you walk into it, it turns red and takes away a little bit of health. And then we've got this system here where I can walk up to a blue cube. Well, actually, I can walk up to the blue door. It doesn't work. Blue cube. And I can walk through the blue doors and red and then these are my drink bottles to be rehydrated lovely blue and so you can see and now we've got a button here change the door let's go white and there we go just something that i'm working on um and yeah thank you very much for coming guys and until next time bye for now <laughs>